Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I am picking up on someone, maybe this is a group or just someone working to get you to quit what it is you are doing, whether you work a nine to five, have your own business, whether you have a platform where you're a content creator. Someone wants you to quit what it is you're doing. They don't want people to see you as skilled, but you are extremely skilled. And people see that someone is doing something solely out of jealousy. They want to basically steal your destiny. This will be a group of people that are doing something as well. Um, but they don't want people to see you as a skilled worker. They don't want people to value what it is you bring to the table. But you are extremely valuable and you are very skilled. Um... Uh, so something I'm picking up on is that there's like a group. I don't know if this is like an institution. Um, there's something about like a will or D. I don't know if like a house or a property or something was left to someone. And there are a group of people within an institution that have been trying to change something in the court system illegally so that it can go to one of their kind. Um, so it's someone, let's say like an owner of a business uh, put a will in place and while he or she was passing away there's like some type of transfer of wealth that's supposed to go to someone but there's a malicious institution that's greedy and financially motivated and they are trying to stop you from receiving that uh, wealth that was transferred something has already been transferred in the spirit realm but now it's something that's being taken care of in the physical okay um they may not also want someone coming towards you maybe these people have been using the money that was left to you some type of monthly installment uh that's being paid out to either someone within this community or a specific group of people that have been receiving some type of monthly payout from this account um there may be a masculine that wants to come towards you as well with some type of this could be someone else, uh, someone else's story. There could be a masculine that wants to come towards you to give you some type of financial assistance as well. And people are doing some type of manipulative tactic to keep him trapped in his mind, keep him stuck in his mind so that he does not uh, think about giving you whatever it is he wants to give you. And that's because there's something about jealousy and insecurities. It's like there's a karmic, uh, like toxic, insecure people that have gotten together um, trying to kind of tick someone out or just keep you um, like they want to be able to control your path, how much money you make, how you take care of yourself, um, how you're viewed, especially when it comes to your skills. Again, they don't want you to be seen as someone that is skilled, um, but everything is going to be balanced out in divine timing. These are people that have people that, excuse me, these are uh, like either institutions or people that have other energies watching you. So maybe like your neighbors watching you, listening to conversations and reporting it back to them just to kind of let them know what it is that's going on. Um, they may have people in your uh, employment area, your environment that you work in, watching you as well and reporting back to them, like have they connected um, if there's a court case going on, more than likely giving updates to let these people know the court case is going this way. Um, but in the end, someone is going to lose something that they've been trying to steal. This could be like a person of high honor. They're not really of high honor. This is just someone that's financially motivated. Um, but they are going to end up losing something. And I think she's aware and she may be stuck in her mind, or this could be a gentleman that's stuck in his mind because whatever it is that they have was ill-gotten okay uh yeah i said ill-gotten split my deck and it went right on the seven of swords they're trying to take some type of corrupt action in the justice system like they want to steal something block something from being balanced out in a situation so there could be like a court case going on people are trying to stop you from receiving information about so you don't show up where you're supposed to there could be some type of um uh uh private meeting going on behind the scenes as well that people don't want you to know about um, because they don't want you to receive what it is that's yours. But rest assured, everything is going to be balanced out. Um, I think these are just people that don't, that just refuse to, I don't even know what the word is to, to describe these kind of people. It's, it's a hurt headache at this point. Okay. Anyways, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. 
Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot reading, folks. Um, so you have people or someone out here that is just absolutely determined to block your forward movement. As I said earlier, they are trying to basically stop you from doing what it is that you do. There is someone trying to come towards you with something or some type of information. Someone may want to communicate with you and people are taking action to block this person from going for whatever it is they're trying to go for. So if someone is aware of a situation that is going on, like they know people are doing something to you and this is why you're in some type of situation someone has been trying to take action to come towards you but people are doing something to stop them uh they may even be trying to i don't know if it's even to take someone out but just to cause them some type of hindrance that is going to block them from taking action to come towards you whoever is taking the actions it could be a group of people collaborating there, there's some type of collaborative efforts behind the scenes to block someone they don't want him taking action because he has awareness of what is going on someone may want to communicate with you <clears throat> This is a toxic group of people. Maybe this person is around them wanting to change his trajectory. It's someone that used to be toxic too, but he's choosing to separate himself from these people to have a brand new passion in the beginning. Um, this will also be someone different. Um, maybe there are two scenarios playing out. Maybe something from your past and something from your future. And whoever is from your future is trying to take some type of action to move on or maybe even go on a business trip or just go on some type of vacation with the two of ones out here this is typically like a business trip like someone wants to travel for business um there are people trying to stop this person from traveling um to wherever it is they're trying to go or they have to go um so if they have awareness of what day and time he or she is supposed to leave they're going to come up with some type of scenario or they're going to plot something to block this person from moving forward basically it's like to just block two people from meeting and working together um and i'm not even sure if these people are aware when this masculine is going to be leaving um, but whenever he does decide to move, he will be moving or she will be moving. There's something about like emotional play here. Like they're trying to manipulate someone's emotion. So if they know he's trying to come towards you or he's going to a city, a specific lo location that you are at. They're playing with his mental. They're playing with his emotions and all of that just kind of get him out of balance and have him stuck in his mind or when this person arrives wherever it is that you stay this is what they're going to be trying to do they're going to try to find out one who is this person that's coming towards this star sea uh what is their intention for this person if it's good then we need to make sure we stop it we need to get this person on the bandwagon to make sure this star sea does not have a fruitful or abundant future we need to keep causing blockages and still mates for this person whoever however they're trying to do this with or they're going to try to do this with is someone that's very diplomatic someone is very um uh like cold cut like there's no in between for this person someone is very direct uh right is right wrong is wrong um so when they are trying to manipulate this person because once one of one First of all, excuse me, this is someone that's very intellectual and has a higher understanding of situations than most people do. So whatever these low vibrational energies are going to be trying to do is not going to work because this is someone that vibrates a lot higher than these people put together. So it's kind of like a kindergartner trying to tell a college professor what to do uh, or tell them who Mary is. Now, you know, college professors, um, they would typically do things their way. Um, they're going to go out and find out the truth. Like, you can't tell a teacher about their student. You can't come into a teacher's classroom and tell them, Susie is this, Susie is that, because you're not Susie's teacher. So Susie's teacher is going to know Susie a lot better than you. And when I say that, I mean, as far as you and whoever this diplomat is or whoever this uh, uh, public figure is 
you to resonate on a um, soul level okay and i don't mean romantic just you two have some type of past life connection together so this person is more aware of you than these people are uh, especially spiritually so when they come to him trying to manipulate him that's almost like telling a teacher about their student or telling like a a, a parent about let's say their 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 child or something i don't know how to put that but someone is more aware of you than these people are and someone may even be more aware of a situation and these people are aware uh, that he or she is so when he or she comes to wherever you are and they're approaching him to manipulate him and things like that it's not going to go exactly according to plan you feel me so that's what i'm trying to say something is someone is more aware of a situation than these people know um, there could be something about like an emotionally imbalanced king of cups in a situation. Uh, maybe this is someone in the public eye. Someone may have fallen from grace. I don't know what it is he's been doing out here. There could be, um, and I, I don't think this is the diplomat that's doing this. There are quite a few parties within a situation, but there's one specific person who's like a king of cups, uh, social, uh, um, uh, I don't know if like a if if it's like a public figure, social media personnel may have fallen from grace, overindulged in something. Maybe someone has been pretending to be in the upright and maybe they have fallen from grace or maybe their true colors are being seen or maybe someone um is not in their high vibrational energy anymore. Maybe something happened to them where they ended up uh, participating in something that they were not supposed to. Or it could be that there are people behind the scenes trying to do things to get this person out of their uh, normal energy. So this would be someone that's very high vibrational, high ranking, very uh, kind hearted, very much balanced and secure within themselves. So people may be taking action to interfere with this person's uh, exposure being seen on on platforms, um, uh, receiving maybe even payments for his work or something like that. But they're tempering with his energy behind the scenes and maybe it has gotten to him and he's starting to get pissed off or something like that. Maybe he took some type of action to, uh, um, I don't know, respond. I highly doubt it, but I will, I, what I'm really more so seeing is that there are people trying to do something to a person in the like in the public, I'm just gonna say in the public, I don't even know how to put this. I don't know how to put this. But also there is someone that may have taken like a business trip or there is someone that's going on a trip to like a King of Cups reverse um, because this is someone that's more than likely been overdoing something. I don't know if they're going towards this person to talk some sense into them because with the temperance out here, I don't think they're going to go work with this person. There could, there could be some type of exposure or like a public figure falling from grace, basically being exposed as someone that's manipulative, as someone that's conniving, as someone that's emotionally unavailable. So this is basically someone that will be putting themselves out as a gentleman. I'm telling you, it's a whole lot of people in here. There will be someone out here putting himself out as like a, a temperance energy, someone that's balanced, someone that's healed, someone that's like a counselor or something like that. And they're being exposed or being seen for who they truly are is what I'm seeing. And someone may have to go within and try to choose some type of different path or just they may need to go and seek some type of counseling because something is about to be or is going to be very uh, embarrassing and humiliating. And someone is very worried uh, about the truth coming out. They're worried as well about you moving forward. So this could be someone that's uh, trying to block your destiny, may have been overindulging in something when it comes to your destiny playing out. So this could be the person that wants you to quit your, your yeah, they want you to quit your job your destiny your purpose uh whatever it is you're committed to your skills and things like that they've been overindulging when it comes to blocking you from the public eye they don't want people seeing you they don't want people hearing you you could be someone that's very intellectual someone that's very uh quick-witted right they don't want people seeing you that way so they've been doing things to cause some type of imbalance when it comes to your work okay and they may be doing this as well to another mat to a masculine and a feminine uh, you, the feminine, they're somehow, I don't know if they're coming after you even harder than the masculine, but there's something where it's that they're, try, they're trying to get you out of balance. 
your your work um is there something stabilizes and then people step in and do something to destabilize it and these are a group of people working together because the amount of effort as far as energy that i'm feeling is a little bit intense so this cannot be one person that's doing this this is a group of people doing something there could be a kink of cups within a community as well that maybe people don't want to work with maybe there's a, a community of people that don't really want to be associated with a kink of cups in reverse and these are different communities that i'm picking up on so please take what applies to your community and leave the rest but there could be a community that does not want to work anymore with a king of cups because there's something up with this man's mental um and people are picking up on that it's like they want to move on with their life but he wants to keep going with something uh, so there could be some type of private meeting going on where is that people are choosing to move on with their lives and this king of cups is still out here trying to keep some type of low vibration or energy moving on it says someone is gone hold on stopping you um from moving forward with your life yeah we got the two of cups in reverse this could be someone i don't know if this is someone from your past someone that's romantically interested in you uh, but someone does not want a contract to come into fruition for you as far as maybe even like a love contract or a business contract with this three of pentacles out here someone may want to give you a contract in this king of cups reverse has been take, uh, doing something to cause some type of imbalance in the situation uh so he does not want you receiving this contract he may be tempering with your work behind the scenes um as far as maybe your numbers uh your your viewers having access to you like your supporters having access to you um and maybe he's even bad mouthing you behind the scenes telling people that you're not skilled as i said so it could be him that's doing this or it, it it's a group effort maybe there's a specific sector of the group that does not want to participate in this nonsense anymore um but there's something where it's like they're trying to destroy or eradicate some type of contract that you are supposed to receive or eradicate some type of connection between two people so it's that don't give them this connection we need to stop this connection from going from taking place there could be a couple going through some type of karma because of what it is they've been participating in so if they've been out here trying to block two people from coming together there could be a couple that ends up going through some type of separation or divorce something has gotten really out of hand in a lot long it has taken long it has been a very long journey and people didn't expect it to go, to go this far in this long i think they thought that something was just going to be like a few months some people say a few weeks but something has been going on for quite a long time i'm hearing over a year two years five years for some of you but there's some type of destiny that is still going to be playing out like it's supposed to okay someone may be under some type of horrible judgment someone's very critical of other people but likes the ability to introspect so instead of them going within and seeing that whatever it is they're doing is really just uh unnecessary it's something that's going to backfire horribly because there's some type of action someone may have recently taken that backfire on them as well and it's going to keep backfiring on them basically someone is taking actions to undo themselves not knowing that they're undoing themselves but they're under some type of persona or some type of false belief that they are undoing themselves okay um they, there may be something your ancestors are hiding from you as well um they don't want you to see what it is that's coming or maybe they're they're hiding from these people what it is that's coming towards you um because they don't want these people destroying it so something is a secret you don't know that nobody knows only the spirit realm knows this was coming out in uh sideways so this person here could be letting go of toxic ways maybe a toxic connection and moving on with life relocating to go and be free elsewhere maybe there's a jesse bell energy that's been around him or her um that is trying to hold them uh trap them in some type of situation but someone is moving on in order to free themselves and, and again this could be someone that's in the public eye it could be a king of cups that used to be very karmic very toxic um with a lot of un <clears throat> unhealthy habits um and it looks like maybe he's trying i don't know maybe he's trying to get away from those kind of ways or something this could just be someone maybe it's not that he's toxic maybe he's just relieving himself of a contract with a karmic community or karmic feminine energy or 
um, karmic masculine. I know I had a dream about a masculine that goes both ways, but it's something that he was keeping on the down low because in the dream, what I saw was like a feminine energy and a masculine. And it's like he was having to choose if he wanted to be with the feminine or the masculine. And at the end of the dream, he walked away with the masculine. And that's completely fine. That's what makes him happy. Kudos to him for living in his truth. Um, but there could be someone here that's trying to free themselves from some type of unhealthy situation, trying to maybe live in the upright, I'm assuming, but I don't know a hundred percent there's some type of loss of a relationship that was very imperative or essential to someone uh so a queen of wands could be going through some type of loss like someone may be leaving her out in the cold or something of that nature to go elsewhere and find genuine love this is someone that's very manipulative as far as this queen of wands um, maybe this is who this masculine is freeing himself from. I don't really know, folks, but it is what it is. All that matters is that someone is taking the necessary steps to free themselves from bondage. You see this? Someone is freeing themselves from a karmic community. Um, and I don't know if it's this King of Cups in reverse because the fact that he's showing up in the in reverse is is a very loud statement. Um, maybe people are fighting with this man. They see him for who he is. Maybe they're realizing that he's been uh, lying to them, causing them some type of conflict. Or maybe they're finding out that this man has been in competition with you for something that belongs to you. Maybe something he has was ill-guiding something. Has been, someone has been doing a lot of manipulations and things like that. It could be like a ten of pentacles that this man has been trying to fight you for something that belongs to you but does not belong to him. And whatever it is he's been plotting or trying to do is a failure. Um, the universe said they're now uh, permitting this person to have your destiny, basically. I'm telling you, there's no joy. There's no happiness. There's no fulfillment in this um, community, this family. There could be some type of misconception, some type of distorted mindset amongst these people. Like they could be even collaborating even more to tell more lies, cause more deception. Um, there could be some type of short-lived victory these people may have had. It's like also the lies are coming to an end. These people may be... Uh, going through some type of karma because of the lies being exposed and things like that. Um, but there's no peace amongst these people, this family, whether this is a couple. There's some type of just chaos, conflict, like some type of fighting that's going on because the truth is being exposed in this community. And maybe people don't even know what to do to, with themselves. Maybe they thought they were part of a higher cause they were doing something that has some type of meaning to it but maybe they're finding out all of this was just about money some type of greed someone trying to steal from another person or maybe someone stole from another person and they won't let go so they keep doing something to keep someone blocked or hidden or maybe they've caused these people a lot of laws but there's someone within a group that's very manipulative they're, this group also the king of cups could be showing up in a revo reverse because this group, there's really no true, genuine friendship. These people don't have any passion for one another. They don't have any compassion for one another. Everything is competition. These are people where, like, image matter, how things look matters to them. Uh, so there's really no friendship. It's all just business and competition. Think of, like, what I'm picking up is, like, think of those monarchs back in the day that were in competition with each other. It didn't matter if they were brothers or sisters father and children mother and children they didn't care right if they wanted to be on the throne they didn't care who it is they were taking out to be on that throne it's kind of something like that with this group they don't care what it is they're doing to whoever they could have known each other for years or this could just be people that have been working together for um, the same cause so they are familiar with each other because they resonate on the same frequency and again there are two sectors of this group i'm picking up on there's a sector that wants to move on and there's a sector that wants to keep going um but these people either they've been around each other for many years or they have a common goal which is to take you down for the ones that want to keep going okay but there there's no friendship these people are not passionate about nothing in life 
um they don't care about nothing but money it's a lot of toxic city maybe people are even trying to free themselves from this toxic group this family uh and there is a family out here a couple that's going to be going through some type of separation this is a couple that does nothing but lie and manipulate um maybe out here paying people to do something to you and you're not aware as far as when it comes to your job maybe lying to people about you not being skilled and that term skill will keep <clears throat> excuse me being skilled that term keeps coming up they don't want people to believe that you are skilled so they've been lying it's a group effort a collaborative effort to lie about you to slander you to cause some type of distortion so people can be distorted about how it is they can have like a distorted view of who it is that you are um and so people do not value what it is that you bring to the table what someone does not want people to know or what the what a group of people do not want people to know is the fact that one you're very quick-witted uh what you bring is very valuable uh, you could be someone that's very empathetic, but people don't want you to be seen as someone that has empathy for other people. They want people to believe that you are just as cold-hearted as they are. They say that you don't deserve a contract that you are being considered for. They're trying to cause you stagnations and things like they don't want you moving forward. But it's like whatever action these people take against you, something is happening to them. So at this point, your ancestors are doing some type of tick for tech. Except the tech that your ancestors are giving back are very harsh um, and they don't feel no ways about that there's something supernatural that is going on within a community the fact that i am seeing the judgment car within the reverse the devil in the reverse and the ace of source in the reverse the uh, temperance in the reverse there's a lot of reverses going on so it's a lot of chaos going on behind the scenes for these people, something supernatural is going on, and I don't even think they know how to verbalize what it is that's going on. These people may be confused all over the place that why is something going the way it is? Like something is not making sense to a group of people because I think they felt that they had something in the bag. They had manipulated enough people. Uh, they had caused enough, uh, you know, stagnations and blockages for you. They had separated you from other people, separated you from being seen, separated you from being considered for something, uh, blocked your opportunities and things like that, blocked love for you. Um, they've been very determined. I don't think something only has to do with two people coming together. There's some type of business in here some type of empire when it comes to a ten of pentacles that they are trying to build off of your back or trying to hide from you or keep you out of you're supposed to be part of something a collaboration but they don't want you being a part of that collaboration because your mindset is different from these people these are people that are financially motivated very greedy they don't care about anyone or anything but money uh, as long as you're giving them money, they don't care what it is that's going on with other people. These are people that are very selfish, um, just just very low vibrational. And these are people, the only way to really get back at them is to hurt their pockets because that's what they care about. You never, you will never get anywhere with low vibrational energies of this magnitude by empath, uh, empathizing with them or anything like that. You get back to them by hurting their pockets. Like if you take money from them, they lose a substantial amount of money. That's when you get a reaction out of these kind of people. But trying to sympathize with them like, oh, you know, my child is sick. We haven't eaten in 10 days. I did. Uh, I'm going through this. They don't care about none of that. It goes in one ear and out the other. It may not even make it to the first year because they don't give to us what it is you're going through. They only care about money. So in order to humble these kind of people or fix them or get their attention when you hit their pockets that's when you get a reaction out of them but whatever um is supposed to happen will be playing out i feel like the reason why all of these major arcana cards are out here in the reverse is because these people are going through some type of karma something is not playing out the way they thought it would they may have been even trying to keep someone stuck in a karmic cycle a toxic situation but someone is still taking initiative to move on with their life and they don't even care if like 
if uh, anyone supports them or if they end up with whoever it is they are intending on giving a contract to someone just knows that he wants to be somewhere else or she wants to be somewhere else um but this group there's going to be some type of exposure that they're about to have and it's not the kind of exposure that they want to have this is like a karmic community being exposed for being very uh, uh malicious very wicked uh, they, may, they may have been hoping to have some type of new beginning with either your wealth or your business, your ideas and things like that. They've been stealing your ideas, but there's some type of exposure that's about to take place that's going to humble these people. Like It's going to be very embarrassing to be affiliated with these people uh, when the time comes for them to be exposed, uh, which is more than likely going to happen like they're going to be these are this is either an institution or a group that pretends to be like wholesome they work together they do things in the upright they're orthodox they do things on principle uh they have morale and all of that but everything is going to be exposed as they are the complete opposite of that none of the above can be applicable to these people because again these are people that are financially motivated if has some type of system with the devil out here in reverse these people have had some type of system some like some type of cult like mentality going on for quite a long time especially with the ten of pentacles and it's been something that has always been based on money nothing else there's no friends you know there's no friends among thieves these are all thieves coming together right there's no friendship among thieves. So these are people that got together solely for the purpose of money. There may be a company that could be financially abundant, but they don't care about people. They only care about money. They pretend to be something that they are not publicly, and there's about to be some type of big expose going on. They said, oh my gosh, uh, whatever company, ABC, has been, you know, uh, committing fraud, blah, 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 for so many years. And here it is, the community thought that these people were genuinely caring for them, looking out for, I don't know what it is to even say, but there's a community, an institution, a group, or it could even just be the sector within a community that's going to be exposed because I'm hearing a business a, oper a business within a business, so like an operation within an operation. So you have a business that's public, and then within that business, there's a sector of that business that's just very corrupt, ruining the operation of the actual business because they have their own agenda within their business, okay? So anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.